Hey, I'm so happy to be here again after almost two months, and I also apologize for that thing. So today I'm here to announce that I recently got shifted to another room, and so I'm so happy to give that update. And I also got that room renovated, and I actually planned a whole video of renovation way before it started renovating. But unfortunately, after two three days of filming all of that stuff, my phone fell from the table and got broke, and because of that. I lost most of my footage, which sucks. But then after that, I got to buy a new phone. So here I am filming the final tour of my room. But look at my room. Essentially, being in this environment makes me excited about life all the time. and it makes me happy and it all puts me in a flow state that makes me feel excited all the time and makes me happy all the time and that excitement come by specifically arranging the stuff in a way it makes a different way of thinking i guess if that makes sense i hope that makes sense okay so now that i have explained why i created my room to look like this or why i designed like this the purpose and the meaning of this i'm going to actually take you guys from the beginning of my room to the end sort of like a circle motion and just going through and if i see something that sparks a story i'm going to share all right let's go so the first thing when you enter my room is this tank thing over here which is probably the part that you guys see in my video now and you're like no this is so big and so cool maybe you guys don't do that but yeah this is the stuff that catches your eyes when you first enter my room okay so how i ended up with this giant football over here as a wallpaper so most of you guys might know what, like what is football for me and it has probably been a big part of my life for the like, past couple of years so the story starts while renovation when we got to make a decision for the wallpapers in both the rooms so that my previous room and this one room and After three four days, I was still so confused because I felt all the wallpapers were so old and that all that normal design. So I didn't felt anything new in an, in any wallpaper, to be honest. And my brother was also going through everything. He was also giving his thoughts and opinions. And one thing is that I never wanted to do stuffs like this without letting him know. That kind of sounds so weird, and. but yeah i don't like that so he was also giving his thoughts and after three four days my mom my dad me and my brother just literally rejected thousands of wallpapers online and on the wallpaper shops and that sucks but after three four days my mom found this wallpaper online and i felt this so different i guess mm my brother also like this and my dad also like this so we went to the wallpaper shop to ask them if this thing is possible because we find this online so they said we can try on it so this comes out as a customized wallpaper for my room the thing is that earlier it was like my brother and me used to live in the same room when he was here around 7 months ago but now stuff was going my way because he is not here now he is in his room and yeah so this time i don't have my closet in this room because i don't want my room to look so congested this time so i only have my bed and my desk over here so yeah so i think i explained why this thing is over here and the whole story behind this so on to the next thing so here we have this giant bed probably nothing new with this you guys already seen my other videos but behind this there is a space cute little space i guess which is a new thing in my room and i have put my digitech tripod over here which is 5 feet long and i bought this when i first did a sponsored video on my youtube channel as a sort of present for me so that sort of like a present for myself so it is important for me so i put it over here because i wasn't able to figure out any other space in my room now above this comes this ac which is probably not in use this time because of winter so yeah and after that here we have this small deck over here sort of like for listening some songs and to chill and sometimes when i feel like boring i just listen some songs but this time this is not working properly anymore so i am looking for a new one now i guess maybe like in the future i will buy a new one so yeah so all right this is the desk area let me remove this chair this is the whole desk area 
So this might be the next big thing that catches your eyes in my room when you first enter my room, or maybe not. But this is the stuff that has combined many different things, and so this is, I guess, probably interesting than the rest of my room. I'm sorry, guys, you're interesting, but yeah, this is where it is. This is like the Times Squares of the New York City, I guess. Yeah. That's a good analogy. So the first thing that we find more highlighted in this is the sticker over here of this legendary Messi and with a Barca jersey on but he is not in Barca anymore so he is now in PSG and if you are a football fan you might know this feeling. So yeah, I researched a lot for finding this one too so I like this one online so I ordered this. So that's the story behind this sticker. And then below this sticker of your Messi, we have this Camaro car, which is quite heavy to be a toy because this is around 700 to 800 grams. This is from Canada. My brother sent few things from Canada to here. My sister is over here. My brother sent me a few things with her. Here comes this car too. This is also from Canada. Like I think these are some cute presents. This is Eiffel Tower from Canada my favorite city's name on here paris which is paris en français and one more car over here but we also have the famous p in your flow stick light box and i use this code for almost all of the ages of my life with anything i approach in my daily life like studying or making a video or maybe scripting a new video or editing I like to be in my flow state at that time because I think this one is a really nice option to make stuff happen in the right way because I think the best possible way to do stuff is by getting in your flow state which not triggers you out with distractions. What I think is that when we are in flow state we have that full concentration over something that we are working on without any outside distractions so that probably works out at the end. So I think the decision of getting in your flow state for any work have been always paid off at the end, especially in my case. In future, I am about to film a video where I have explained a lot more about the flow state, so I don't want to dive too deep into this right now. So yeah, so I have this as a sort of reminder for myself for every day to get myself into my flow state. All right, moving on. Everything is as simple and as complicated as you want it to be. I wrote it over here when I was overthinking over something someday. Make mistakes of ambition and not mistakes of slot. Develop the strength to do bold things, not the strength to suffer. And this is a great quote by Nicolo, I guess. Yeah, maybe Nicolo, maybe, maybe not. But I guess this is from Nicolo. So yeah, I think I can go through and read all of these quotes over here. I will not tell you that why I put it over here, but I think I can read all of them. But I will go through and read just all of them. So yeah, let's get on the another one. Goals have to be unrealistic to be effective and this is very important for me because I think all of my goals are pretty crazy. For example, like more recently one of my goals with this YouTube channel is that to watch myself on the Times Square billboard. Actually why that becomes a goal of mine because recently I saw people I follow and get inspired by they are getting themselves on the Times Square billboard as a YouTuber with their subscriber count like 500k or 600k. And that's pretty crazy and that's so amazing too. Or the other example, like right now I'm having a goal of 100,000 subscribers of this channel. So yeah, likewise this, the goals have to be pretty crazy. And I guess when the goals are outrageous and exciting and seem impossible to the people, that just fills you with that excitement and that energy to be like, holy cow, that's kind of important. But let me go do it so that all that fills you with that energy that propels you towards your goal and in my case some of the unrealistic and crazy goals have actually paid off so yeah that's why i put it over here as a reminder look to the nature for the ideas and designs um that's another thing that i have learned that a lot of the answers are actually like oops yeah, that's another thing that I have learned that a lot of the answers are actually in the nature and I think we always used to look for the answers on the wrong places and sometimes you have to look towards the nature like what the nature have done for itself because the nature is sort of the ultimate selector to do what the right thing is 
if that makes sense because over time nature has corrected itself and if that was infected it would have died out and if you step outside the humanity the way nature works it is like going for millions of years so yeah i guess i am over explaining about it so yeah on to the next one consider yourself a genius in everything you do and carry that confidence with you wherever you go and i think this quote can be easily be misunderstood by getting high over it and the funny thing with this quote is that it really goes back to my another video where i'm talking about so not letting society define you in certain ways and what i think is if you view yourself as a genius in everything you do it is like you are giving more confidence to yourself to do other things which means you will probably be better at it and i actually found that it really helps in certain areas the mind is like so powerful that you can't even imagine and the stuff that you tell yourself are actually more effective than you think okay so this video is sponsored by marketing z community marketing z community is a place to make new friends spark collaborations exchange ideas and advices and much more this is a place where you can meet people having similar ambitions as yours all the members of the community are entrepreneurs marketers influencers freelancers and because of the presence of all these young talented people there is a whole different positive vibe in the community within the community exclusive content is shared regularly live meetings are done the team is available to help the members in need in the best way possible also the community is divided into two different parts the free community and the vip community the great thing is anyone can access the free community by just simply logging into the website and creating your account the vip community on the other hand comes with a monthly or annual membership where you can have access to the exclusive training you can also join the vip community on just 127 dollars per year which is very great in the community every month they organize a giveaway as a high value prizes also the prize are given to those people who have the most Zcoin in the community, and if you are wondering what Zcoin is, it is a community token that you get on a regular basis. Once you understand what it properly is, you can find more information by just clicking on the links I will provide in the description. I will highly recommend you to join this community as it is very helpful, and I am also a part of VIP community, which feels really great to be honest. So if you are interested, I will put the links in the description to check it out. All right, let's get back to the video. So yeah, my room. So over here in this space, we have these two drawers. I can show you what I have showed. First thing, go, oh. go. Oh. So here we have this remote for the light and some of my shoe mount, my AirPods, the chargers that I use every day, headphones, some wires, sticky notes, my external storage for my cameras. some letters over here for this light box so i can use that when i am over this coat then here we have these products sponsor products headphones my phone box some some phone covers my mic for the vlogging some of my cameras some of my chargers for cameras tripod leads and i have also this one thing over here Yeah, stamina. Let me show this one. So, most of you guys might know what this is because a few years back this thing was crazy. Like I th- I guess at that time I was in 8th or 9th grade when I used to collect all of these and I was having a whole bunch of stamina cards like literally thousands of cards I used to collect but I sort of collected this and save this over here sort of as a memory for myself from the childhood and so here we have this <laughs> golden card of staying so this was the last pack i bought for myself there is a story behind this too i want to share so as i said i used to collect these when i was in 8th or 9th grade so at that time i was over playing with them the kids of my age used to throw them away i also thought to do that but the way my brain works is really so different and at that time i rather than throwing them away i made some paper bags and put five five cards in each packet and i sell them for like just rupees 10 and at that time the return ones come for just rupees 15 or 20 i guess so i sell all of my cards and the money i get after selling them away i buy a football for myself sort of like an investment 
<laughs> rather than throwing them away. So yeah, this is the story behind this Lamadax. So yeah, that's how my brain worked at the time when I was in 8th or 9th grade. And I don't think if these are still available in shops around because today's generation have these smartphones. <laughs> so why they will play with cards? Like we also used to have smartphones but this was also a crazy thing. And moving over here, I have some more space to fill with the quotes and things that I find most inspiring or most motivating. And here there's also space that I can fill up in the future, maybe. Maybe I'll put it over here too. Who knows? So yeah, this concludes all the desk area that I have explained. And moving on here, we have this cute little phone stand. My tripod, 5 feet, this can go a little bit more, like over here, more than my height. And you know, this wall is fully empty because here I have only this night bulb. I didn't put any like clock or any stuff on this wall because I want this empty. <laughs> I think I want to put over here the plate of YouTube that YouTubers get with 100,000 subscribers. So that's the goal of mine. And I think that's pretty crazy goal and it's also cliche but i want to have it on this wall so yeah that's why it's empty but who knows how long it will take me to reach 100,000 subscribers but finger crossed let's hope for the best but wait i guess there's only one last thing to show in my room is that this rgb light over here which covers the whole of my room and yeah and if you guys have noticed this room has a sort of vibe that brings you back to your childhood like this giant football over here this messy sticker and some cars so that sort of bring back to the childhood but i think i really like having all this stuff and i think they are really cute and interesting i really love being productive in this environment i think if there's a vibe in which you really like to work and being productive that really helps you out to be in your flow state. This environment increases the productivity and what I've noticed when I don't like the environment in which I'm working that just increases the chances to procrastinate. Um, yeah, I think I've covered everything in this room. There's like a million things to talk about, a million stories to tell. But I hope you like this video and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and just uh, 20 years old in his room trying to reach the unrealistic goals as cliche as it sounds but I'm gonna try it anyway and uh, I'm having fun in the process just trying to enjoy my life with this and a big thank you for the sponsors for supporting my videos and if you want to follow me on Instagram or any other social media platform of mine I will put the link in the description also we are slowly increasing on this channel because some of my videos go well so don't forget to join the discord community I'll also put the link in the description for that. There you can directly chat with me and we can all have sort of chat together and can have meetings together. So, alright. Have fun, chase your dreams, do what you love, go make someone stay and I'll see you next time. Bye.